Hi there everyone, this is Liz Sonoya and this is uh, a new channeling message. Um, I will read the text for you as usual and then maybe give some personal comments afterwards. But first I would like also to say that uh, my guide that I'm working with right now, I've been channeling for, for 20 years um, with different kind of light guides because that's what's happening when you're developing as a human. Um, you get contact with the guy that are um, going to work with you uh, in that phase where you are right now, but also um, like I have um, a guy that also have a higher purpose for helping others. And uh, this guy, he, um, he introduced himself uh, a couple of years ago and um, he, he, he calls himself um, the Golden Light Administrator and he is part of a council of seven. Um, they are called the Council of Seven for some reason. They are seven um, there, as I perceive this. They are seven and uh, he is one of them who is connected to me and um, the, the, the council is a collective council with higher knowledge uh, and they have uh, each and every one of them have specific um, areas that they are good at or experts in or and my guy that um, has come to me and um, want to work with me he or he she it uh, <laughs> the the higher being of this energy is um, handling um, the light integration in humans and uh, on earth so that's why I often get the focus in my channeling uh, regarding how to transform your life from uh, a light perspective or from um, new frequencies that help you instead of problem solving in a way because if you already have a light specific frequency integrated in you, if you have worked with that, you know, certain things fall away automatically, actually. I have noticed this in my practice with other people, um, that with that perspective and uh, w working with the light source and integrating um, the energies that we are stepping into right now when it comes to uh, integrating the new earth and fifth dimension and the golden air and uh, all this um, we are beneficial to send out like a, a light track into that reality because that hel helps us to release our old patterns, um, our old uh, traumas, emotional baggage and things that we need to release to be able to higher our, our, our vibrations. So he works a lot with this, but he has a lot of knowledge about <laughs> almost everything that's happening on earth right now um, but if he doesn't he he turned to the council that he is part of and he asks them so that's how i perceive the work that i'm doing and i i haven't asked but i s assume that there there are 
um, other channels out in the world who are in contact with the other six members of this council. So, because my information and my feeling is that he, the light administrator only works with me, that like he's like a personal guide as well as uh, a guide for for many people through me. Mm, but there should be six other people working with, who are clear channels and working with this consciously, who are in contact with this. It would be amazing to connect with those other six people. Um, yes, but... Um, I just wanted to say to you that he's uh, kind of introducing himself a bit in this channeling that I'm going to read to you now. So, all right, let's begin. <clears throat> uh, the light falls on you, dear earthlings and friends. We are close to you in the energy of incomparability, where the creative power resides. There is a lot of examinations in you right now and we can feel the pulse over the earth, how it vibrates. In it, a lot, um, a lot is lifted to the surface and through your special view, you form new symphonies. It hurts or dances in a varied stream of energy. The balance in your everyday life can be difficult at times and we would like to advise you in that perspective that when you experience yourself to swing a little, stomp a little, regret a little or scream a little, take a step back and breathe inward and upward. Anchor your roots but try to inhale light energy through your nose and see how it makes contact with your forehead, your inner light gland, your signal hormones and how this light balances. Think of the word balance as you do this. As a light administrator and a speaking guide for our current Council of Seven, I want to unite you with your own inner light source and with humor say that there are many who will marry themselves now. As light administrator, I see light sources and their origin, the core they consist of, different experiences in different dimensions and how they interact with each other. My channel will write more about this later. Mm, the energy that you consist of in your life is so great, so infinite, and it is difficult for us to describe with your earthly word list what dresses the story in a full and true way. There are puzzles to solve in light vibrations, more to explore, more to learn about the whole together. Now we want to take you on a journey, an inner journey. When the beginning, let the sun rise on the horizon and the wind breathed life into your hair, the day caught you. It allowed you to be created as a human being, as a trail of life to follow, to live, to fulfill. We see that day of fulfillment come again in stages, which anchors knowledge and awareness. In that you change, in it you bath in the sea of um, in the sea with new horizons. There and always you will find peace. 
Talk to your guides with questions. Listen and capture the answer in you and in your footsteps, in your everyday life, in the song you sing, in the text you read. Pay attention to how the wind speaks to you. It sounds, we sound, we love your listening. When the trees then rise at the shore where only grains of sand lived, the new ones take root. There a network is rooted in seemingly impossible terrain for roots to find their nourishment. When you let your roots change soil because they need it, the grains of sand will feel insufficient uh, at first. They are not. Do not be afraid. They are pure, crystallizing, uh, sparkling. You're just not used to see them up close. <clears throat> Stand there uh, in your tree with your roots in the new sand, on the new ground, and breathe in the new horizon. A new life has then been created. We see it happening for so many. This journey speaks to you, a new world. With all our love, the Light Administrator and the Council of Seven. So, yeah, I hope you did enjoy that last part as well, where you could imagine yourself standing on new ground with this crystal sand giving you everything that you need. Your body will give you everything that you need during this process. So tune into it and be in contact with all the changes your body is going through. Um, it's going to want to uh, settle down in a new way in life and it doesn't need to be in a physical new place. It, 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 it's, it's a metaphor for um, a new place within yourself. So yeah, it's an amazing discovery, this journey. It's a true adventure that we are on. I hope you can feel that. Um, so that was it for today. I thank you so much for tuning in and listening and I wish you a blessed day and week wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much. Bye.